MRN Radio, Steve Post here at the Racing Electronics booth at the PRI show, and we are having a ball talking to so many great people. Folks, I've just got to share this with you. Uh, I live in North Carolina, and we are so fortunate in North Carolina. We have a regional late model stock, asphalt late model stock tour called the Cars Tour, and we have some of the best racing in the country. The guy that owns the car tour is Jack McNally, joins us, their partner of Rory as well. Jack, great to see you. Man, always great to catch up with you. Sure is. Sure. Absolutely. Let's look at the uh, 2022 season. First off, we'll start with your champion. You 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 crowned a new champion with Carson Quaffle. I did with Carson. Uh, great young driver, and uh, even better than that, Steve. He's a great young person. Yeah. Uh, just thrilled to death for he and his dad and JR Motorsports. They uh, they came out of the box strong, and they just kept the pedal down all season long. What's it like, Jack? You've been around this sport for a while now. What's it like to see young talent like that? And, and you've got others as well there. What's that like to be to be part of the development of some of the young talent in our sport? My, my satisfaction, Steve, is sitting on the sofa when we're not racing and watching a truck race, Xfinity race, now even a cup race, saying they came through our system. Man, that's I mean... Stuff. I'm a proud papa. I'm a proud <laughs> papa at that. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, uh, at Bristol in the spring of last year, it was announced that North Wilkesboro was coming back. And uh, the next thing we know, Cars Tour is going to be part of North Wilkesboro. And then some guy by the name of Dale Earnhardt Jr. decides he's going to race at it. Jack is the sanctioning body and the one that had the opportunity to do that race at North Wilkesboro. What was that like for you as a guy has grounded out so hard to have a moment like that? I, 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 I still can't hardly believe it. But in the driver's meeting, uh, and I share this when I'm asked that question, in the driver's meeting, I told everybody, I said, I know we're here to race. I know you're all pumped up to race, but I want everybody, before we fire these motors, do yourself a favor. Take five minutes and just look around and soak all this in because many of us probably will never see this again. And I've had so many people say, Jack, you are absolutely right. At, at, it was a it was a carnival atmosphere. It was a carnival. I mean, we had merchandise trailers, food trucks, camping. It was a circus. It was insane. I stood at the back of that driver's meeting, and I literally went out and sat on pit wall and took what you said because I just took it in. And then they had a band there, Dirty Grass Soul. was. I mean, it was just phenomenal. It really, truly was. So coming off the 2022 season, you've unveiled your 2023 plans, 16 races for the uh, late model stock tour, 13 races for the pro late model tour. Uh, looks like you've got a lot of big things planned coming forward for this year with your schedule. We do, and we're going back to wilkes I know. I mean, to think that we're going to actually – be there with a NASCAR sanctioned event. <laughs> yeah, uh, but we do. We have a lot of a lot of the regular truck uh, tracks that we go to. Nothing new. Uh, sadly enough, we keep losing these racetracks. I just learned yesterday, Greenville Pickens. Done. Don't plow it in. Plow it down. And since what, 1948? You know, it's it's we're just running out of racetracks. So, but we we're looking at some other venues, but not this year. Right. Well, this year the other thing I look at, you've got North Wilkesboro, which which Jack referencing, kicking off NASCAR All Star Week is the Car Store. That's a phenomenal. That's very exciting. One of the events that I just love that you do is the throwback at Hickory, the uh, the the 276 race. How important has that been for you guys? With because everybody gets involved with that. That the throwback paint schemes are as good as we see at Darlington on the NASCAR side. Absolutely. I I, I don't remember the number exactly, but. Now, our late models are really into that. Uh, pros, not so much. But the late models, I think last year we had 27 entries, and there was 22 of them in a throwback scheme. Oh, man. I mean, they have really, really go on board with that. And, I, you know, I'd like to reward them uh, somehow, and so we're trying to work something out on that, too. 
Yeah. The other thing you did with the tour uh, last year, you went with the pro late model as the second division with the late model stock. Uh, the fact that there's 13 races next year kind of probably answers my question. Has that pro late model thing developed as you've wanted it to do? Yes. Uh, you know, the first year of anything, you know, sure. the old room wasn't built in a day. Uh, we, we still average 12, 13 cars, but I know of five or six new cars coming this year. So I'm hoping that's going to be like 18, 19 this year. And if our, if our late models continue to support us like they do, we average 23 late models every night. It is good stuff, that is for sure. The Cars Tour, if you find yourself in the Carolinas, up into Virginia, you need to check this tour out. Jack, always fun to hang out, and I just Dude. love, man, right. I tell you, I get to get to some of these races, and I just sit there and enjoy some of my work on them. Yeah, some, some, come, sometimes I work, sometimes I work, fan. sometimes I come as a fan because it's that good, that's for sure. Thanks, Jack. Thank you, buddy. There we All go. Right. Jack McNally from the Cars Tour joining us here at the RE booth.